Now, if you will, you can turn in your Bible to the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 11. He's not talking about a piece of cornbread, uh, and he's not talking about a glass of water, but he's talking about us as we try to be a help to other people, as we try to uh, tell others about the Lord Jesus Christ and the, the salvation that we experience. He's talking about uh, the water being people, uh, multitudes of people, because if you'll look over in the book of Revelations in chapter 17, uh, the, the writer there speaks of the waters as people. Mm -hmm. And so he's talking this morning about us as individuals being, uh, using what he has given us as he spoke of, uh, Jesus spoke of over in uh, Matthew, I believe it was, for about the sower went out to sow. Mm -hmm. And he, he sowed the seed and the seed fell, some on the good ground, some on the bad. But anyway, he's saying here, you cast you cast your uh, thy bread, in which the bread, the living bread, uh, the bread that he gives us, the bread of understanding, the bread of uh, eternal life, this is what he wants us to uh, cast upon the uh, people that we meet. And mm -hmm. listen, if we, if we have the opportunity to do that, it is well for us to do it because it's pleasing to him. And listen, he'll never, he'll never forget. Amen. He'll never forget anything that you do for him. Now notice what he says here. He says, cast thy bread upon the waters, for thou shalt find it right after you do it. No. But he says, after many days. Right. Now, the thing of it is, if there's so many people who wants to go out and and uh, pretense and try to visit and try to witness and try to do this, expecting a pat on the back right away from other people and, and saying, well, I know the Lord's going to bless me. But listen, we don't do it. We don't do it for that reason. We don't do it for what we'll get out of it, but we do it because it's pleasing to the Lord. And he, has, he has encouraged us to do it. He has someone to come to us and to tell us about uh, salvation. He had some to visit us and to tell us other things that the Lord had done for them. And so here he's talking about you casting your bread upon the waters, for thou shalt find it after many days. Now, 
uh, it may be, listen, and, and we have some scripture that uh, reading about uh, chastising your children. And I thought it would be fine here, listen, you raise up a child in the way it's going, when it's old it won't depart. Amen. Sometimes you have to chastise them and it says surely it won't kill them. But here he says after many days, and the thing of it is these days that he's talking about may include our death. And we may be gone before some of this takes place. But I believe he will he will feel fulfill enough of it to see uh, what we're what we're going to expect out of the, the, what we have done. So he says uh, you're going to find it after many days, and sometimes we, uh, like I say, he may not it, it, we may not be around. So uh, anyway, those that do these things don't hurry the Lord up and saying, "Well, Lord, I did this for you, or I did this for you," because listen, he does what he wants to do in the time that he wants Amen. to do it in and he is the God of all and he he knows when you need this encouragement he knows when you need that blessing and listen I find this morning when he blesses listen he blesses unawares most of the time and 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 then you know the Holy Spirit will come and say hey uh, that's from the Lord mm -hmm. and uh, listen it, it just it just thrills our hearts this morning to get a blessing from the Lord and to understand that he's 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 listening to us he's aware of our problems he's aware of all the things that we need and uh, he takes care of his own and then at the right time things will happen like this so he says here cast thy bread upon me on the uh, upon the water for thou shalt find it after many days also we want to see something this morning in Malachi 3 6 uh, we know about this, and this is this is not, none other than the tithing. And we want to. I want to. If I can get over there to it in just a minute, I'll read it to you. And I'm sure that you've already read it a time or two. And and I'm trying to try to uh, get a point across this morning. And Malachi 3:6, where he says, "For I am the Lord; I change not." Amen. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Even from the day of your father, ye are gone away from my ordinances and have not kept them. Return unto me, and I will return unto you, saith the Lord of hosts. But ye say, Wherein shall we return? Will a man rob God? Yes, a man will rob God. Amen. Because, listen, there's no way in this world, there's no way in this world that I can repay God. For what he has done for me. And listen, what I do, what I do, I do it because that I love him, because I, 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 I know that he's my God, and I know that he uh, sees everything that I do, and he sees my heart and what condition my heart is. And he says here uh, in verse uh, 6, he says, uh, I mean, uh, uh, verse 8, Will a man rob God? Yeah, ye have robbed me. But you say, wherein have we robbed thee? In tithes and in offerings. And right. I'm, I'm bringing this out to kind of get along with this cast thy bread upon the water. Listen, this morning we do not need to be, we do not need to be accused of robbing God. Because, listen, he gives you everything. He owe, you, owe it, you owe him, you owe him a portion of it. Amen. And, and it pleases him. And he says what he, he promises us. He says, you bring you all the tithes into the storehouse and there that there may be meat in my house. And this meat is that will have people here that when people, strangers comes in or lost people comes in, that we can teach these people. We'll have a place for them to set, a place for them to, to uh, uh, stay comfortable. And this meat that he's talking about, bring you all the meat, in my house and prove me now therewith saith the Lord of hosts and so this morning when you when you tithe when you tithe this is what he's saying you prove me Amen. you prove me and see what I do for you and listen people he'll never he'll never he'll never 
He'll never refuse. He'll Amen. never. He'll never do anything that is displeasing uh, or what with with the tithe. Because listen, He's promised us here. He says, He says here, prove me in verse ten. Now therewith saith the Lord of hosts, I will, if I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that there shall not be room enough to receive it. And people, Amen. people will come back and people will come back and say, well, God ain't blessed me like that. Well, listen, you got to give it, you got to give it willingly. You got to give it with love. You got to give it because you love him. Amen. You want, you want to see his work continue on. And if you don't give but a penny a month, Listen, if it's, if it's like that with the, like the widow of the might, if you give it with the love in your heart, listen, it's sufficient. Mm -hmm. if, if, that's what, if that's what the Lord lays on you and, and that's a tenth of what you get or, or whatever, listen, you, that, that love will, will catch God's heart and, and eyes and he'll, he'll see that you're his child and you want to serve him the best you can. And so he said, he made us this promise, I'll pour you out a blessing that you can't receive. Amen. And so he said here, uh, also notice, and I will rebuke the devourers of, for your sake, and ye shall not and he shall not destroy the fruit of your ground, neither shall your vine cast her fruit before the time in the field, saith the Lord of hosts. And he says, all nations shall call you blessed. Amen. For ye shall be a delight, the delightsome land, delight, delightsome land, saith the Lord of hosts. Now, back in our lesson again over here in, Malachi, in Ecclesiastes, so this is what we read here of, of, of casting, and, 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 and we won't bring that in. But now notice, notice verse 2. Give a portion to seven, and also to eight. Mm -hmm. Now what he's saying, I believe, this morning is, and what he had in mind was, listen, you don't, you don't give, and he's saying give a portion. Uh, you don't give to one because you like him, and here's another one over here that you don't like, and he's asking you for it too. You give a portion if you have it, and 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 and, and have the love of God in you. You don't just pick the ones that you want to give to, but he says, he said, here you give a portion to seven and to eight, for thou knowest not what evil shall be on the earth. So here in, in Psalms, I want to read something over to you in Psalms this morning, and, and we'll take it just a minute. Psalms 112. Psalms 112, 5. Notice. A good man showeth favor and lendeth. Amen. He will guide his affairs with discretion or justice. Surely he shall not be moved forever. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. He shall not be afraid of evil ties, tidings. His heart is fixed or steadfast, trusting in the Lord. Amen. His heart is established he shall not be afraid until he see his desire upon his enemies. He has dispersed, he has given to the poor. His righteousness endures forever. His horn or strength shall be exalted with honor. The wicked shall see it and be grieved. Amen. He shall gnash with his teeth and melt away the, the and, and melt away. The desires of the wicked shall perish. And so when I, I read this, I wanted to, and, uh, to, to show you that he, he, don't, he wants you to have a, a loving heart. Mm -hmm. And listen, if, you know, if they do you like they did him, and they spit on him, they pulled his beard, they cursed him, they mocked him, they beat him. But listen, he says, forgive them for they right. don't have to. And it's the same way here this morning. If, if someone does you wrong, and, and I know it, it, it's, it's hard on the flesh, but you need to try to help them. Mm -hmm. Because the thing of it is, look at your condition, how you were when the Lord saved you. Right. You was lost and undone, just like this person that maybe mistreats you, but asks you for a favor. Listen, you're still supposed to have the love of God in your heart and do that thing for them. So he says here, notice now, here's some conditions. Notice this. 
in verse 3, if the clouds be full of rain, they empty themselves upon the earth. And if the tree falls towards the south or towards the north, in the place where the tree falleth, there it shall be. And so this morning, these things are going to happen, like the cloud, if it's full, it'll rain. And if the tree falls, it'll, it'll lay there. Notice, he that observeth the wind shall not sow. And here, cast thy bread upon the waters. People, this morning, we are not to uh, uh, do things on our own. We're, we need to be led of the Spirit before we can uh, witness to anybody, before that we can uh, uh, to tell anybody about the Lord Jesus Christ. We need we need the help from the Holy Spirit to Amen. point us out and to show us what we're not, what we're going to do. So He says here uh, in verse four, "He that observeth the wind shall not sow, and he that regardeth the cloud shall not reap." In other words. These are things, these are, these are, he's talking about things that, that if you uh, have a desire to serve the Lord and to be a witness for him, then there's things, there's things that you should observe before you try to do something on your own. Because right. it won't work. And uh, if, it's, if it's cloudy or if it's raining, you don't go out here and sow seed. And if it, or if it's windy, you don't go out here and sow seed. But you wait. And you wait upon the Lord, or you Amen. wait till the the, the uh, wind quits blowing. You wait till the rain quits, or or you just wait another time. And, and and I think this morning is something that that we need to think about this because he says, notice here in verse five, as thou knowest not what is the way of the spirit, nor how the bone do grow in the womb of her that is with child, even so thou knowest not the works of God who maketh all. Amen. Now, these things here, uh, notice here, I want, I want to read you something in Ecclesiastes 3.1 uh, that he, he wrote concerning this. Ecclesiastes 3.1 and, 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 we, and we see here uh, he that observed uh, in verse uh, uh, 5, as thou knowest not what is the way of the spirit, nor how the bones will go. And, 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 but now here's what he says about this, a time for everything. He says, to everything there is a season, and to a time, and a time to every purpose under heaven. A time to be born, and a time to die, Amen. and a time to plant, and a time to pluck up. And when the wind's blowing, you don't sow, and when it's raining, you don't get out there in it. And he said, there's a time for it. And there's a time also to, to, to sow seed. There's a time to cast thy bread upon the waters. There's a time for all things. It says that, and also a time to kill, and a time to heal, and a time to break down, and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh and a time to mourn and a time to dance. So he's got several things here that go on a time to love and a time to, uh, for uh, rent and all this. But there is a time, there is a time in God's uh, uh, plans and all this. There's a time for you to be a witness. There's a time for you to keep your mouths closed. Mm -hmm. There's a time for you to sit still, and there's a time for you to get up and go. There's a time for everything. And listen, we as God's people need to understand and, and follow the leadership of the Holy Spirit. And and I, I mean, I'm not a time to go to bed or something like that. That's that's fleshly. But the thing of it is, there's a time in God's plan for us to do all of these Amen. things. And so He says here. Uh, in verse 6, in the morning sow thy seed, and in the evening withhold not thy hand, for thou knowest not whether whether shall prosper, either, either this or that, or whether they both shall be alike good. And so what he's saying is, uh, there's a time, and, it, and he says to sow in the morning, mm -hmm. and, 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 and in the evening withhold not thy hand. So he saw the with, withhold my hand is a time together, and so there's a time for each thing. You don't you don't you don't sow your seed in the fall of the year, 
but you you gather your seed, but you plant your seed in the spring of the year, and you don't withhold your hand when the fall comes, and you gather them. So that's what he's trying to tell us there. Uh, again, a time for this and a time for that. In verse 7, truly, the light is sweet, a pleasant thing it is for the eyes to behold the sun. Amen. But if a man live many years and rejoice in them all, yet let him remember the days of darkness, for they shall be many. All that cometh is vanity. And this, this word vanity and vexation, he uses it numerous times. And, you know, you think you could put your hand and your mind and your, on, on, on this vexation and on this vanity and all of this, but it's all what he said he, he seen. He said, I've come to, con I've come to the conclusion here uh, in, in, in the vanity in verse 8 of chapter 12. Vanity of vanity, said the preacher, all is vanity. And this vanity is vain. And that's what he's, what he's saying here. And notice here in, in verse 10 of uh, uh, chapter 11, Therefore remove sorrow from thy heart and put away evil from thy flesh, for childhood and youth are vanity. They're, 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 they're not, they, they, don't, they just don't, they don't mean anything uh, as far as he was concerned about because most of the, all of this stuff is fleshly stuff that the body enjoys and, and he looked and seen all of this and he said it's all vanity mm -hmm. uh, for me to for me to worry about planting and and harvesting crops for me to have riches and all of this he says it's vain because i'm going to die and leave it all behind and it's all vanity so here we see back i won't go back to uh but uh uh, uh verse nine look at the verse nine eleven nine Rejoice, O young men, in thy youth, and let thy heart cheer thee in the day of thy youth, Amen. and walk in the way of thy heart, and in the sight of thine eye, eyes. But know thou that for all these things God will bring thee into judgment. Mm -hmm. And uh, this this morning you can you can you can waste your young life. Uh, you can, you cannot, not try to use it for the Lord. And and I, I this morning I would, you know, I would encourage anybody, uh, uh, young or old, to use your bodies and to, and to try to serve the Lord the best you can. Because listen, what uh, what he's what he's saying is, one day you're going to stand before God and give an account. Amen. And this morning, uh, I would like to stand before God and have something, something as a, I could present to him, some kind of crown or something that I could present. And listen, that's, that's, that should be our desire this morning is to be pleasing to the Lord and to try to follow his word and, 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 and understand how that we can get some rewards that we can give them to the, the Christ and to God. Because listen, one day, one day we're going to, we're going to take our crowns and cast them at the feet of Jesus. Amen. Because listen, He's the only one that's worthy of these rewards. He's the only one. I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy to say, "Hey, I'll have crowns in heaven, and I can go around and boast of them." Listen, I I would just say a sinner, and I was a lost person. And by the grace of God and through Amen. the blood of Jesus Christ, His blood, I was saved. Amen. And that's all I can give honor and glory. That's what that's what I give honor and glory to is is the Lord Jesus Christ and His salvation. So, again, here this morning we want to look we want to look at a little bit more in twelve, uh, in in verse twelve. He says, "Remember now thy Creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not." nor the years draw an eye, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. And this is coming on us all. Uh, I mean, mm -hmm. it, it slips up on you so easy, but this is talking about a person that was young and is old, and he says, remember thy creator in the days of thy youth. And when Amen. you're young 
and all this, listen, you can do so much more fleshly. You can go and you can keep going and you can stay up and you can, you don't get as tired. And that's what he's saying here. Serve him while you're young. Serve him while you're physically fit. Because Amen. the day is going to come when you ain't going to feel like getting in the car and driving 150 miles to go to church or when your eyes are so bad that you can't see uh, this or see that. That's, that's going to happen. And that's what he's saying here. He says, uh, Here, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have a pleasure. And you know, that's, uh, that's, that's the thing of old people. Mm -hmm. Hey, they say, hey, you, know, you want to go downtown and do this? Or you want to go do this? I just don't feel like it. And so the body is wearing out mm -hmm. and uh, it just don't feel like it. Uh, it does well if it can remember to uh, say a little prayer over its food and say a little prayer at night when it goes to bed and try to read a little bit and uh, uh, praise the Lord that way, but uh, for us giddy up go, hey, it's all done with. Mm -hmm. So here, here again, verse 3, or verse 2, while the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not darkened, and of course that's talking about the body, nor the clouds return after the rain, in the, in the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble and the strong men shall bow themselves and the grinders cease because they are few, and th those that look out the windows be dark. And listen, people, that's talking about our teeth and our eyes and our uh, uh, things like that, our ears. And the door shall be shut in the street when the sound of the grinding is low, and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird, and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. Also, when they shall be afraid of that which is high, and fear shall be in the way, and the, the almond tree shall flourish, and the grasshoppers shall be a burden, and desire shall fail, because man goeth to his long home, and the mourners go about the street, or ever the silver cord be bruised, or the golden bowl be broken, or the pitcher be broken at the fountain, or the wheel broken at the cistern. Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was, and the spirit shall return to God who gave it. Vanity of vanity, saith the preacher, all is vanity. Mm -hmm. So that's our lesson this morning, and I hope that something has been read here and, and said here that will encourage you. Uh, we we are, you know, we're here for a little while, and uh, it's 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 for our our good and that we could we need to serve him as best we can and. Uh, 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 try to stay as straight as we can with uh, with our brothers and sisters and uh, pray for one another and uh, the Lord will bless. Amen. So this is our lesson for this morning. Thank you so much for listening.